Hello, this is Just Go Fly Vinny, and I'm showing you uh, the custom map editor for their billions, and specifically the new custom buttons that are out in the um, still being modified 0.10.9 version. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run a map that I generated that I use for testing, uh, it's a custom button map. And what this has got is a lot of items on the map. It gives me a lot of resources. It gives me gold and, and things so we don't have to spend a lot of time going around and trying to play a game. Um, I'm going to pause the game just to control the income level and show you the new button. All right, so the new button is right here, and I, I called it Market. I chose the cost to click on the button to be one stone and 100 gold. And I chose cost to use one stone for the stoner and some change. The value of zero is on the button, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, it's a value that we can control. Um, the current uh, amount of money that we have is 600, and the current stone is 100. Remember, the cost is 100 gold and one stone. We click on that. We immediately reduce our gold by 100 and our stone by one, because that's what I wanted it to do. All right, that's not hard-coded into any of these buttons. Everything on this screen is, is configurable by you. So market items is what I chose as the name. This is the picture that I chose, which is the market in the game. Very small icon. It's very blurry because it's small. And then I, it only shows me the items that are available for the amount of money that I have in my bank. So I have other items that are more expensive that will not show up here because I chose not to show them. Now. I can spend all of the money and now I'm down to zero and you can see the button has disappeared and that's because I set up the button to be visible above $300 and disabled below I believe $500 so let's go get 500 all right so the button is visible but it's disabled all right it says cost one stone you must 300 to see this button and 600 gold to enable its use so it's disabled right now now the value zero is still there because we haven't talked about that yet but everything on the screen is configurable by you in the custom button setup let's go get another 500 all right so now we come back and the button is enabled because we've satisfied the condition and this the text has changed because we're no longer disabled. They have completely different text to show you for disabled and here you can see their enabled text. So I click on it, it reduced my gold by 100. Now the way I've set it up was every single time you click on this button, it reduces your gold by 100. I'm making you pay to, just to enter the market. Now we've got two items that are showed because I have enough money to be able to buy the ballista at 600 and I have enough money to buy the food at 500. So let's exit. And I'm going to go get a bunch more money. All right, 2,400 now. I'm going to click on the button. Went down to 2,300. Now I can buy an executor for a thousand. So let's do that. And you can see we got 2,300. I'm going to select the executor. It immediately reduced by 1,300. And if I select to see what I've got, I've got an executor. So now let's open up the market again. I got to pay another hundred. I'm going to buy a ballista. And if I look here, I've got a ballista and an executor. So now, what is this number zero? You are gonna pay this so this number is controllable by you for whatever you want to use it for. Um, what I did was I set up four boxes here, and I set the number to change as you run over each box. The first box would be 100, the second box would be 200, the third box would be 300. The fourth box will add 1,000 to whatever this number is set to. So it should end, since this is 300, it should end at 1,300. Better be good. Gotcha. So let's keep an eye on it. 100, 200, 300, 1,300. So how did we do that? Let's go look. So we're going to look at the script for this map and the new custom buttons.
in the editor. This map editor is actually very good. Um, they've been very responsive about uh, reacting to requests that we've got to improve it and um, they've given us a lot of functionality this is just one more thing that they've provided to us to allow us to configure anything we want to with that button it does not have to be a market it can be um, you know something that you give to your user as they achieve different things within the game so maybe they kill a giant and you decide um, you know, here's a little bit of money for your troubles uh, if you detect different things as you play the match. So let's look at the custom commands. Let me open this up. And as you can see, I've named, I've given an ID of market, and I've named the market market. Here's the string that is shown when the button is available and enabled. Cost to use one stone for the stoner and some change. The cost is configured right here. Wood, stone, iron, oil, or gold. Or all three. And I just see I've chosen one stone and gold. Here's the script which we'll look at in a second. But I want to show you when the button, to define whether the button is enabled, you set up a condition here. And the condition that I defined is that you have to have at least 600 gold. And I say cost of one stone, you must have 300 to see this button and 600 gold to enable use. That's what happens when the button is disabled. To make the button disappear, you would have to have less than 300 gold. And the counter is this value called gold valve. Um, we're using a, a variable named goldval. So let's go look in the variable functions. Goldval is set to zero. That's why when it started, the button had a zero on it. Now, if I look at the map, three thousand six hundred DPI. These are the unit event messages that I configured to set the gold valve. If I click on it and I view the script, all it does is execute gold valve equal 100. Okay, so um, within the unit map event, the very last one, remember, it, it when you executed it, it added a thousand. If I come in here and I click on this, I can see execute gold valve plus equal 1000. So it modified the contents of that button and you would use it for whatever you desired to use it for. Um, so the script to run the menuing system that I used as a market, you can see on the right hand side here that the window message has a JPEG file for the picture and market items as the text. You can put sound on it, you can put a condition on it on whether um, these items display or not. So on each of the items I only show the executor if the gold is greater or equal to 1000 because the cost is going to be 1000 for you to buy an executor. So why bother showing them that menu item? Um, underneath the executor you can see that I've said give resources and I do minus 1000 to take away 1,000 if they select this block, if they select this, this option, and I give them one executor. Same thing with the ballista. I put text in there to say the ballista is, you get a ballista for a cost of 600, and if they choose it, it reduces 600, and it gives them a ballista. The, le the third block is food, 50 food for a cost of 500. And in here, all I need is give resources, and I can do both at the same time, is I can remove 500 gold and give 50 food. And the final block is an empty block, which is called exit. You already tipped me. So what that does is when you select it, it exits the menuing system, and you're done, because the selection of any one of these 
um, is not using any kind of looping or anything like that. It automatically just executes what's inside of it and then you're done. So I hope that uh, helps you learn a little bit about the custom commands and um, feel free to stop in on Twitch TV. Just go fly Vinny and chat me up. Um, I love to do some of these maps and figure out problems for people. So uh, just stop by and uh, friend me and uh, let's work on some stuff. And enjoy.